The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. Creation is science. science. We are loving, enjoying hearing about our Savior Jesus Christ and how His creations that God has created in this world. You know, the more I learn about science, the more I realize how God's word is true. Isn't that phenomenal? Amen. And I'm so glad that Professor Roy is joining us here, and we have Briley, Zayden. Sophia and Logan, and it looks like we're doing something with the light bulbs. I see light bulbs on here. So tell us a little bit about what we're doing today. Yeah, do you like light? Y'all like light? Yeah. Well, yeah. we're going to kind of look at the history of light and light bulbs. That's going to be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But you know, we take light for granted, don't we? Yeah, but it's awfully hard to do things if you don't have light. So let's go back into history. Mm -hmm. About 1807, that's a long time ago, even before I was born. Yeah, yeah. me too. So. <laughs> But Sir Humphrey Davies, what he did was he created what we call a, uh, an arc lamp. And the arc lamps were very, very bright. We're going to make an arc lamp. Actually, uh, the experiment is to make an arc, but you can't look at the arc. So we're going to make the arc by using some of this material up here. Okay, so what we have is, so you've got some safety glasses. So why don't you go ahead and put your safety glasses on. And I'm going to need some help here. So I'm going to need a helmet up there. So let's get our helmet All down. All right, Riley, okay. you want to take uh, that to Professor right. Roy? Yeah, and if, sure. we're, if we're using an arc, then you know, what, you know what welders need to do. They need to cover their whole body because what happens with that arc lamp or that arc light is there's UV, A and B, which can cause skin cancer and all kinds of problems. But I'm going to do this so that I don't get my lab coat all messed up. You don't want to get my lab coat oh, messed no. up. Okay, all right. So, and we have some gloves over there. Let's get the gloves. Okay, okay come on, Zayden. We, go. we have a nice helmet, <laughs> and the helmet has a, a visor on it. It has a filter. It has a filter lens. That way I can look at what I'm doing without getting hurt. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Okay, all right. So I'm going to put this on my head here, all right? And let's see. And I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, you can help me put my glove on. There's my left-handed glove Hold and it my right-handed glove. Thank you. All right, here we go. So what I have to do is I'm going to turn this on, okay? What we need for everybody to do is to turn their back against me so you're not seeing me turn your back okay and i'm going to have and we're just going to get an arc okay and you're going to tell how bright that arc lamp really really was okay are you ready are you ready yeah yes. all right yes. let's try it here we go Woo! Woo we see the shadows yeah isn't that cool? It's you like can it's see how bright it is. Okay, all right, all right. You can turn back this way. Was that right. bright? Yeah. That must. Did you have see been how really bright, bright it was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and blow that out. Here, we're going to turn this off right here. There we go. But you know, people wouldn't want that light in their house. Would you like to have a light that bright in your house? No. No. no it, it would blind you. Yeah. Okay. But they lit up all kinds of outside places, but they didn't use the arc lamp in their house. So let's figure out what they actually use. Okay. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead. We're going to put some of this stuff down. Okay. And then we're going to need to use a couple of different things. So let's see what we got. All right. Let's put this down here. All right. There we go. I'm going to move this down as well. All right. Now, what you have on your table. Leave it. No, that, that's fine. Okay. okay. What we have on our table is we've got some things. We've got a jar. You have a jar? What, we have a jar and we have a lid right here. And let's see, you know, what problem, who, by the way, who invented the light bulb? You have any idea? <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. A lot of people think he did. You know who invented the light bulb? Edison. Edison. Thomas Edison. A lot of people think Thomas Edison. I thought so. I thought it was Thomas Edison. But you know, Thomas. Thomas Edison didn't, but there was a man by the name of Joseph Swan. And Joseph Swan, he invented the light bulb along with the help of some other people as well. So what did they do? Well, Edison made the light bulb a little bit better because they would, they would burn out. So would you like to help me to make some light bulbs? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. All right, so let's see what we got. So we actually have in your little bowl or your cup, we've got some little pencil leads, okay? Some little pencil leads. And so what we want you to do is we want you to put the pencil lead in those two little alligator clips. See those alligator clips right there? So put the pencil lead right in between both of those clips, okay? The pencil lead, you know, the pencil lead is not really lead. It's not lead anymore, it's what? It's graphite. It's graphite rather than, rather than lead. Now, there's a little lamp, see the lamp? Go in and turn that lamp on after you get the, the, the lead, or it's really not lead, it's graphite, and turn that on, there we go. So we have two lamps, two lamps, and those lamps are what? They're made of what? What are, what are they made out of? Light. Light, <laughs> they bring us light, but it's also electricity, right? It's going through a little tiny filament, okay? And that filament, it heats up and it gives off light. We call it incandescent, and so we get light that way. But that's what we're gonna to try to make. We're gonna to try to make an incandescent light bulb, okay? So okay. they've got the little lead, you got your lead over there? Yes. Where's your, is the lead in between there? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, put the top on. Go ahead and screw that on, the on bottom. top. Okay. Now, when Thomas Edison and he was trying to All make right. the light bulb a little bit brighter, brighter and better because it would just burn out. A few hours and it would burn out. Do you want a light bulb that burns out in a few hours? No. no. I don't either. So they had a hard time trying to figure out how to keep it from there. burning out. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is what they found out was if they could take some oxygen away from the filament and that little graphite piece of fake lead, okay, that when it gets hot, it gives off light. It can so we've got some, we have some D cells right here, and we have several D cells. We're going to put some electricity right through that piece of graphite, okay? So how can we do that? Well, get, take a hold of this right here. We want to go ahead and attach the alligator clips to the ends of your cells, okay? Since we have a lot of cells lined up in series, those cells make a battery. Okay, so hook it up and let's, oh, look, 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 we got, we're making light, we're making light, we're making light. We're making light. We're making light. How about that? Is that a good light? I like that. It's a good light. It will it last for a long time. No. No, no whoa, whoa, watch it, watch it. It lasts, it oh, it's getting brighter and brighter. Oh, and what happened to it? It turned off. It burnt out, it yes. burnt out. Well, I wouldn't want a light bulb that burnt out like that, would you? No, I don't think I would. That's interesting. So how are we coming over here? We're, We're trying to get that. Trying to get Let's that to go. It. Let's unscrew it. Let's check the uh, the the. Okay. Did the little graphite thing? Is it still intact? Let's try another this. one. Let's try another one. Okay, they're going to try another one. Okay, while they're doing that, okay, what we're going to do one. is we're going to try to get a couple of things down right here. Let's see what we got. I have a little lamp right here. I'm going to put this lamp right there. Okay. This is a little kerosene lamp. So instead of, you know, people, they were afraid of electricity when it first was invented. And so they were using gas lamps. Yes. Why were people afraid of the electricity? Because it was new. It was new because they hadn't had electricity before. And anything that's new, people are just kind of afraid of it. Okay, so that's what we have there. And let's see what I've got. What we're going to do is I'm going to try to make a lamp, okay? And so d is that going to work for us? Yeah. It to work yet. We're not sure about that one. Okay, here we go. Do you need help? That's all right. Sometimes that happens in science, right? Sometimes it happens. Okay, That's so okay. so That's I have fine. a lamp right here. Okay, wow. and if we look at this lamp, we have uh, those little wires right there are called filaments. Okay, and that filament electricity goes through it. It heats it up. What does it do? It incandesces. It gives off light. And That's pretty cool. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, have you ever broken a light bulb? No. Yes. Have you ever broken no. a light bulb? <laughs> no. Why did you break the light bulb? <laughs> it was an accident. It was an accident. Okay, I was hoping it would be an accident. <laughs> so what are we going to try to do here? Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little steel plate right here, and I'm going to break my light bulb, and all I want is those little tiny filaments, a little tiny filament. That's what we're going to try to get. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up in my cloth, and then I'm going to hit this and see if we can break that light bulb. Oh! Did you hear it break? Yeah. I heard it break. And you know what? I think I've got a filament that's not burnt out. No, that's pretty cool, or, or even broken. So what we need is we need a shielding gas. That's what they were trying to discover. They're trying to discover something that would shield the filament so it wouldn't burn out. 
Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna use a shielding gas. We're gonna put some nitrogen inside of this container and that should be a shield for that filament so it doesn't burn out. So here's our liquid nitrogen and it changes from a liquid into an air gas. So that air gas is coming out right here. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna turn this on. First of all, all of the air and oxygen are gonna go out of that, right? And then we ought to be able to put this inside and turn it on, and it might just stay lit. Let's see what happens right here. Uh-oh, you know what? That filament must have been broken. And we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try that again, okay? But anyways, that was one way that they could take and get all of that oxygen out of here. So, let's see, we got, we have another one. We're gonna screw it on here. Oh, we're going to screw it. We're just gonna get it out. Okay. There we go, all right, here we go. All right, let's see what he got. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to break this a little bit better this time. So, so we don't break the filament, okay? We don't wanna break the filament. I don't think we broke the filament this time. Let's see what we got. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this down in here. We should have some nitrogen gas in there, which should be what? It should be a shield to keep that filament from burning out. Give me a countdown. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Whoa, Yay! and there it goes. And it's not burning out the filament. We have a shield of nitrogen gas inside of there. I'm gonna turn it off. And when I turn it off, it goes off. What happens if I turn it on now? It's gonna have fire. Is there a shielding gas in front of that filament? No. no. So, so it's gonna, it's gonna burn dangerous. out in a few seconds, right? Okay, give me a countdown. I'm gonna turn it on. Three, Three two, two, one, on. And, oh, oh, and it just burned out. out. And it just burned out. So do we need a shielding gas for incandescent light bulbs? Yes. yes. We do. We need a shielding gas for incandescent light bulbs, which is very interesting to me. Now, oh yes, your question. Um, when um, they have light, when people make light bulbs, do they put nitrogen in the glass so the light bulb can stay on? Yeah, you could put nitrogen in there. That's exactly right. Sometimes they use argon, okay, for that as well. And they can even use helium for those, those gases as well, which What's is interesting. What's argon? Pardon me? What's argon? Argon, argon is an inert gas. It doesn't mix with hardly anything else. And they use it in industry. And, it's, uh, and it doesn't hurt anything. But you can't live off of it. It's not like oxygen. We need oxygen, though, don't we? Okay, good. All right, so we need what? We need a shield, and that's what we have right here. We had a shielding gas inside of those incandescent light bulbs. Do they use incandescent light bulbs a lot today? Mm, no. Well, you know, last year they set a little law, and they said no more incandescent light bulbs are going to be made because it takes too much energy. It takes too much energy. So now we have what kind of bulbs? L what? LED. LED bulbs. That's exactly right. They're more efficient. They save us money. They save us energy as well. Isn't that amazing? Don't you think that's amazing? Yeah, you're right. That reminds me of a Bible text, Ephesians 6 verse 16. Can you get that for me, Logan? You know, God is always wanting to have us under his umbrella and a protection. And I'm thinking of the atmosphere. Do you know what's out in the atmosphere? It, because of the sun would be so bright, it's really a, an ozone protection in the stratosphere, right? Mm -hmm. And that is protecting us. Go ahead, Logan. Okay. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the darts of the, the fiery darts of the wicked one. So we want to avoid the fiery darts. Remember how we had to look away? Yes. And Satan's always there trying to find those, those things that can hurt us, but we want to turn to who? God. We want to turn to God. And remember Moses? <laughs> remember Moses on Her uh, Mount Herod? Uh, Herod, um, he wanted to go, what, did, what happened? It's like when, when that was light and when we turned away, it's like that's God. You're right. He saw the reflection and it was so bright. And we want to turn to Jesus because he is the light that we can all follow. And his brightness is something that we should learn from, right? Right. Thanks for joining us on Creation is Science! Science!